When one studies the destruction of the first and second temples, Korban Bayat Rishon and Shani, it becomes clear, both through the portrait painted in Tanakh, as well as that of various Agadot of Chazal, that the destruction of these temples and the wars that ensued and the loss of life of many of Bnei Israel had nothing to do with military strength or geopolitics or anything of the sort. Rather, these destructions befell the Jewish people because of their sins. The Gemara tells us that the first Beit HaMikdash was destroyed because the Jewish people were violating murder, adultery, and idolatry. And in the second Beit HaMikdash, there were many sins, the most famous of which was Sinach Yunam, baseless hatred of one another, but nothing to do with geopolitics or military strength. And this lesson rings true even for us today. The Rambam, in his code, Hilchotanit, the laws of fasting, right in the very beginning tells us, This is the way to repentance. When a calamity befalls the Jewish people and we cry out to God, we should know, Hakol shebeglal ma'aseyem ha'ra'im, this calamity befell the Jewish people because we weren't as good as we should be. We weren't as righteous as we should be. We didn't engage in as much Torah, mitzvot, kindness, chesed as we should be. Says the Rambam in the very next halacha, And if we don't cry out to God in the face of tragedy, This calamity, this has nothing to do with our sins, this has nothing to do with our behavior or our attitude towards God. This is just, you know, the way of the world. There's some logical, rational explanation behind these actions. The Rambam says that's a cruel attitude to adopt. And ultimately, that will convince people to stick with their ways, to stay with their bad ways, instead of introspecting and trying to do better. As we study the destruction of the first and second Beit HaMikdash, we should be reminded and inspired that in the face of tragedies that we face, lo aleinu, God should never let them happen. But if they do, the Rambam tells us we should use those as an opportunity for introspection, for looking inwards, and God willing, God will never allow such calamities to befall Klai Yisrael ever again.